Since the dawn of man, our livelihood has been dependent on the beasts with whom we share the earth. Whether like the Native Americans who relied on the buffalo for shelter and sustenance, to the bonds with our pets, human nature has been to, well, rely on nature. For Dr. Jeffrey Karp, his approach to the animal kingdom has inspired creative biomaterials that improve how humans heal. Known as biomimicry, scientists like CARP use inspirations from nature to develop solutions to medicine's perplexing challenges. We often spend a lot of time um, visiting zoos, visiting the aquarium, um, looking into the literature or the popular press um, for uh, examples in nature that can potentially provide inspiration um, to help us in the development of solutions uh, to really tackle important medical problems. And there's a number of, um, of, of examples in nature that we're currently pursuing uh, to develop next generation uh, circulating tumor cell chips as well as next generation adhesives. Among Dr. Karp's many inventions, there's a microchip that captures rare cancer cells, viruses, and bacteria in blood that's inspired by a jellyfish's long, sticky tentacles. Then there are the surgical neonatal bandages inspired by a gecko's foot and a spider's web to keep surgical wounds securely closed and protect fragile skin. Recently, Dr. Karp's curiosity about porcupines has led him and his team to discover the stick-and-stay dynamics of their quills. New information that will be used as engineers develop the next generation of medical needles and adhesives. This is Dr. Wu Kyung Cho and Dr. James Angram. They work in the CARP lab studying porcupine quills. Based on what they've learned about how porcupine quills work, the lab team has invented some cool prototypes that will one day advance medicine. The quill is very, very sticky because of these barbs along the tip. So we envision to use this uh, to fix hernia meshes. So when a patient has a hernia and they have a hole in their abdomen, a doctor needs to place a mesh over it to uh, re restore that barrier. And so we make patches with many of these small barbs that can then be used to more effectively secure that mesh in place so it doesn't move and cause pain. The second application area is that these quills can penetrate tissue with very little force and with very little pain. So you can envision making a needle with tiny micron barbs on it that have reduced penetration force, which actually causes less pain to the patient. I think that as we try to develop solutions to important medical problems, we often face several barriers, um, some that seem in some ways insurmountable. And I really, I strongly believe that evolution is truly the best problem solver and we can learn so much from nature.